breaking news, Nigerians. Nigerians don't they cry, you. <laughs> they say they are tired, though. They don't they cry. They say Bola Metinubu's administration is bringing more hardship to them. Oh. Not be waiting. Some people they talk, say, eh, the president, they take action. They say all these actions, when they take, not before the interest of the poor masses. So they say they are really suffering. No. Since Bola Metinubu removed first subsidy, right from the very first day he enter office, Nigerians are going through hello. But you know, say politicians, they know they understand all these things because they know they pass through. Waiting Nigerians, they pass through. You understand now? They know they go markets. Even, even first station, I'm not sure say that they reach there. So they don't understand all these things. Come on, man, when we say how much you been salary, now they don't they plan another one. No? They say they won't increase uh, another 7.5% on, on VAT. That one on petrol and the electricity tariff will see increase. So Nigerians don't they talk say I beg. It be like say Buhari government go on better pass this one. No, I beg make una carry us go back to Buhari government. Hmm. What a sad situation. Well, we are watching to see how things unfold. Uh -huh. You know, so when people they talk, I go say make una calm down first. So, uh -huh. not be say because. The president suspended CBN governor and the uh, EFCC boss. And I know say now, do, now this one's be the first gra gra, initial gra gra for every president when enter seat for Nigeria. Now so then they do first of all they go first strike the EFCC uh, boss and the uh, the CBM like that. Uh -huh. So not be today we know say now so the tradition be. So make anybody never begin jubilate yet too, because true true be say waiting Nigerians they talk for yet. Now true. Life don't they difficult well well. Now they don't they talk say they won't increase a uh, light. We not get fuel. When the lights now, the small, small lights when then they bring, when not be say then they bring and well, oh, they won't come stay add money join. This is not going to be easy for common man out there, you know, on the streets. We just pray that the government will understand what Nigerians are going through. Well, let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. But before then, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Many Nigerians have described the first 22 days of President Bola Tinubu's administration as bittersweet. His quick decisions, lauded by many as bold, decisive, and correct, are not without consequences that are grim and adverse for average Nigerian. For example, since the removal of fuel subsidy, the price of premium motor spirit PMS has skyrocketed. This has recently been speculation about an impending value-added tax VAT on PMS, a planned increase in electricity tariffs on July 1st has further agitated Nigerians. The news comes as Nigerians grapple with the harsh economic realities brought on by the elimination of fuel subsidies. Kevin Odeze and Daniel Raga, two popular social media influencers, Someone of the sentiment of the majority of Nigerians. The fuel subsidy has been eliminated. The education subsidy has been eliminated. And the VAT on diesel has been implemented, which will raise, which is rise its price and affect the cost of goods on the market. The electricity subsidy is about to expire. All this is one month. Too quickly. Far too much. Nigerians are in pain. On Monday, Kevin Odeza tweeted, We are being suff suff suffocated. Daniel Riga stated unquivocally that the current government policies were unfavorable to the masses. It should not be news that Tinubu met Bill Gates and Aliko Dangote in the presidential valley. The visit is making headlines, but what has this administration done to benefit the general public from the elimination of first subsidies? 
to the rumored increase in electricity tariffs. It's never about us, he tweeted on Monday. Nigerians, particularly the concerned about the rumor tax on PMX, the fearful of further economic works that could drive up inflation. Hmm. As Nigerians, we say, all these things still fall back on the president to decide through enforcement. Only God can save us. Una de mumu for all this rubbish. Comment because you all just expect overnight miracle, right? So all this rise now, not be for betterment again. Hmm. We are very senseless human beings. No? Nigerians cry over Tinubu 7.5% VAT on petrol, electricity tariff increase, and say, who will save us? Nigerians will never see anything. She, Nabo, President Bola, Amrit Tinubu. Very soon. Like in 10 years, petroleum will lose its global value. Electronic cars are on the, on, the raise, or on the rise. Only God can help Nigeria right now. I hope the people that voted Tinubu will be exempted from the present suffering. Ha! APC, not the go market. So this problem, when they grant now, it not affect them. The God who saved Nigerians from the hand of Abacha will definitely save us from Tinubu. Hmm. This matter is strong. Go. Where do you expect him to recover the huge amount of dollars spent for his controversial election? Only God can deliver the poor masses. So guys, when I don't hear the matter, so make a drop and for you. Shook your mouth put for the matter. What do you think concerning this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please, do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.